Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I wanted to discuss the difference between AND versus test instructions. Let me start with AND first. Let us assume we have two registers, EAX and EDX. Uh, in EAX, we put one. And in EDX, we put two. And we do a bitwise AND. The bitwise AND, this is in at and format. Therefore, this is the destination. So it's doing a bitwise AND between EAX and EDX. And the result is put back to EAX. Uh, EAX has one and EDX has two. Therefore, bitwise AND will be zero. The reason is that if you look at the bit pattern for uh, say one, one has zero, zero, all the way until zero and then one. And this is the bit pattern for one. The, and the bit pattern for two is zero, zero, and so on, one, zero. And if you do a bitwise and, um, you get everything here zero. So they have a zero. And this is also zero. This is also zero. OK. That means EAX will have a zero. OK, let's confirm that first. I will load it into GDB, and then we can check the state. GDB, I've already compiled this um, assembly code. So I'll just go to GDB, disassemble the code. You should see exactly the same assembly code we wrote, except that um, in GDB, the L is, is gone. You know, you say move instead of move L, we put. It, it's the same here. Other than that, it's the same. OK. so. Um, I wanted to put a breakpoint at this point and to see the state of EAX register. Run and the print EAX. As EAX currently has one, we are not yet there. We didn't execute this instruction. Let me execute that instruction. And now we expect EAX to be zero. Yeah, EAX is zero. So that is the first part. Let's get out and do the second part. The second part I wanted to show to you is what happens if I put this here, test L, okay? Let me show you what the test L will do. Um, compile this first and link it, load it in GDB, okay? Disassemble the start, put a breakpoint, at this place, at this address. And now we run it. We examine the state of EAX is one. Let's step instruction. Okay. Now let's look at the state of EAX. I argue that the EAX state would not change. You see, it didn't change. It's still one. Okay. So the test instruction doesn't change the destination. It performs a bitwise under though. Okay. 